Thanks for joining us and we are going to walk you through a bunch of the new um, features and options and such that come on our 82 series machines, our 282, our 382, our 482, um, just a, all the same machines, just different size uh, chucks. Um, so you'll see right now we're st I'm standing in front of our developmental machine. Uh, most of the videos you'll see today and the options I'm going to show you on our actual work machine, our production machine on the floor but we'll start off on this one here. We'll start off with one of our um, options that uh, we are able to integrate quite a few different platforms where we can do offline programming, offline program edits, um, and gather a lot of information of the machine running that's all done through the HMI and some sort of interface that would be in your electronics cabinet. Uh, one of the biggest ones that we've just become compliant with would be the SexGem interface, um, a big silk and carbide industry interface would be an example of one that we can do. And you're able to track hundreds of different parameters and functions and um, records of the machine and manipulate that data in however you see fit for your company. Um, and that all just matters on what system you got and our software development team can implement all of those systems. One of the new features on the 282 is a precision servo driven cross slide. Uh, what this allows you to do is use a numeric number to put in there and precisely go back to the same position repeatedly. repeatedly. Um, this allows you to do things such as a wedding cake type profile on a part. And you'll see that happening here in this demonstration. Continuous grind is another feature that we've uh, recently added. What that allows you to do is with a one button push, you can do grind one, you can do grind one and two, or you can do grind one, two, and three all off of one button. I'm gonna start off by walking you through the three different modes that the 282 machine can grind in. You have a grind to height, conventional grind, and incremental grind mode. Starting off with the conventional grind, you would place the part into the machine. You would then manually move the wheel down on top of the part. You would hit, hit zero and zero your part. And then you would tell it the parameters that you'd like it to do, the amount of distance you'd like it to grind into the part. The next feature we'll talk about will be the grind to height feature. In this feature, you're actually going to put a reference plane in here You'll use a known good block. Um, let's assume this is one inch. You will bring your, and what that is telling you is it is one inch above the surface of the um, mag chuck. So you'll bring the wheel down on top of your one inch uh, part and you're gonna hit reference plane. Then you're gonna bring in your part, which is two inches. And from there, all you're going to do is tell the machine that I want my part to be 1.75 when it's finished and the machine will do everything for you. So the next uh, feature we'll talk about will be incremental grind. This is kind of a hybrid between conventional grinding and grind to height. Whereas you're still going to use your one inch gauge block, set your machine or your, uh, your wheel one inch or in touching this gauge block so you'll be one inch above the table. You are still gonna give it a, um, so that will be a reference plane. Then you'll give it a rough part height. This will be two inches, but instead of doing a final dimension, what you want to happen is once it comes down and touches the two inches, you're gonna tell it to go X amount of distance from that top of the part. The next feature we'll talk about is the regrind feature. Um, several ways where this might help you. As you see, we have a grind one, grind two, and grind three, and that may be a complete process of flipping and um, 
or doing different parameters for each grind. Um, with the regrind feature, and after each one of these grinds, you're able to regrind that portion and tweak it minor. You know, maybe you want to come down a little bit further after you've done grind one. You realize you need to come down further than that. You can adjust that, and it will then you can adjust it, regrind it, and go into grind two. Same thing with grind two. Um, without the regrind feature, and you have to tweak things, you're going to end up having to reset it and going back to grind one and redoing things. So it saves you quite a bit, a lot, or quite a lot of time. Also, if you're making a wedding cake uh, scenario, you may want to maybe not plunge it any further into the part, but move it over a little bit. And you want to do that several times without uh, affecting grind two or grind three. This is where green regrind would happen. So I'm going to run a cycle here, and then I'll show you a regrind. We'll just rerun that cycle. Now let's say I don't want to go into grind two quite yet. I want to maybe adjust something, go a little bit further in our X position or a little bit less. So let's say we're going to do eight there. And all I'm going to have to do is hit regrind here and it's not going to move into grind two. When I hit go again, it's going to take me back through grind one. The next feature we'll talk about will be the part detection um, sensor. Um, up here on this box, um, we have a sensor on the machine that will detect the top of the part and will automatically set the zero for you in modes such as grind to height and um, incremental grind, as well as conventional grind. You can run it down until that sensor triggers and set zero yourself. Right now we're showing you, we're gonna come down to this rough part height and once it gets to that rough part height, it's gonna sense it and we're gonna see a flag on the uh, control here and it's gonna go into the grinding mode. As you can see, the sensor has detected the part and put it automatically into the rough grind. You'll see right here as the, the part is passing through the wheel, you get your profile on your grinding parameters. Our next feature I'm gonna talk about is combining all of the kind of features we've been talking about. Um, in this scenario, we are actually gonna auto dress um, the wheel and that's gonna be triggered by the sensor up here. After the auto dress, it's gonna come over onto the part where I've already told it the rough part height and it's gonna be triggered by the sensor again and go ahead and do its grinding cycle. So you'll see right now it's looking for the sensor. It hits the sensor, it does its dress. Comes off of the dressing, comes on over to the part. comes down on top of the part, it starts looking for the part. There is a detect zone above every part to be safe so that if your rough part height is not correct, the sensor will catch that. It flags a sensor and automatically starts your rough grind, which it's doing right now.